So, you want to know what's in the free HitFilm 1.1 update that's coming out this Thanksgiving, but you only have a couple of minutes to spare? Okay, well, it's a challenge, but here goes. You might want to fasten your seatbelt. New effects in both HitFilm Standard and HitFilm Ultimate include a new digital block light flare type, auto color, auto contrast, and auto levels for quick fixes, bold for making weird under the skin effects, crush, black and white alpha, and difference key for more compositing flexibility, echo, reverse, and speed for temporal control, insect vision for all of you making cheesy sci-fi B-movies, jitter and stutter for making things go a bit crazy, magnified, motion trails, oil painting, solo eyes for all you fans of soloizing stuff, waves, and witness protection for using on Jimmy Wong. Also works on other people. Coming to both versions of HitFilm is a new layer panel for masking on pre-transformed layers. Support for Dolby Digital Audio decoding, which means AVCHD is now a supported format. The export window has been smartened up to look much nicer and give you useful info. You can create and save custom workplaces for different interface layouts. The viewer can now be set to auto-fit, which might not be exciting, but it's super useful. You can now select multiple layers to make into a composite shot. You can double-click a property in the control panel to find it on the timeline. The editor sequence settings will auto-update to match your video format. You can double-click any keyframe to jump the playhead straight to it. The 3D rain effect has been tweaked so that you can look at it from any angle. New keyboard shortcuts have been added for masking and camera movement. The point handle has been updated to be easier to see and manipulate. Editor sequence playback has greatly improved. The interface and 3D effects have been optimized for speed and responsiveness, and motion blur has been optimized and is now higher quality. Exclusive to HitFilm Ultimate 1.1, we have awesome 2D motion tracking with optical flow and template match options, vast performance improvements to the particle simulator, amazing new dynamic forces for attracting, detracting, and adding turbulence particle simulations, much improved 3D camera tracking data and porting, and of course a whole bunch of exclusive new effects. What effects are those you ask? Well, there's Beze Warp for curling our layers, bilateral blur for creepy smoothing out of faces, blood spray for awesome splatty gore effects, channel time shift and time displacement temporal effects, chrominator for adding a touch of liquid metal, grain removal for moving grain, obviously, light streaks for cool anamorphic lens effects on new gradient type with radial gradient, radio waves for generating amazing patterns and animations, TV damage for a different way to plant out your videos, and vortex displacement warp for all your black hole needs. Did we mention that the 1.1 update is absolutely positively free to all users? Did we also mention that there's currently 20% off HitFilm Ultimate over at HitFilm.com? As always, any questions just ask here on YouTube in the comments, or on Facebook, or on Twitter, or over on the HitFilm.com forums. Thank you for watching.